Exercise is very important for Parkinson's patients, but I find it very challenging to convince patients to do exercise. I have discussed various exercises in other videos, and today I'll discuss briefly whole body acceleration uh, exercises, which are non-invasive, uh, drug-free, safe, well-tolerated procedure, and it consists of moving an object who lies on a flat mattress with a motorized platform repetitively, and it moves it for more than 100 times per minute. This procedure feels very unusual. It may feel uncomfortable, especially in the beginning. The people who do it may feel like they are on a horseback riding while lying flat, or they are jumping on a trampoline. The potential benefits of this uh, exercise in sedentary patients are, are said to be similar to those people who do active exercises because both of these modalities increase nitric oxide and their benefits include prevention and treatment of arteriosclerosis which leads to coronary artery disease, stroke and peripheral vascular disease. It also helps to arrest osteoporosis and improve cognitive function and people who do it, they report that it also prevents depression, improves their sleep, decreases constipation, helps in improving fatigue as well as functional motor performance. Some people also feel that the uh, optimization of uh, dopaminergic medications is improved when they are doing these exercises. Other exercises could include mental stimulation exercises. In the mental stimulation exercises, patients improve their cognition and memory because they are the common symptoms of Parkinson's disease. 40% of the patients are said to develop dementia, but eventually much larger number of patients end up developing dementia depending upon uh, the age and course of the disease. The games such as Sudoku may add in stimulating their mind. Patients may benefit from book reading uh, or reading newspapers or other strategies, uh, uh, including uh, word searches or crosswords uh, uh, type of games. And patients also benefit from writing or using their non-dominant hand, for example, using the mouse with their left hand if they are right-handed. This also helps their brain to develop new skills and new connections, uh, which can last for a longer period. And many of the experiments have shown that even imagining to exercise is helpful because it trains their brain uh, to have new connections, learning new tasks, also challenging brain and neurobic exercises are helpful for example closing your eyes while trying to dress yourself beware of falling you can also combine two or more senses at the same time reading and thinking also helps walking and physical activity is reported to help with overall well-being meditation many patients uh, uh, feel helps the, in their overall uh, well-being and uh, any, time, any type of meditations, uh, whichever patient are trained in, uh, could be tried, and they help patients to cope with their Parkinson's disease symptoms.